On Tuesday, some 400 people turned out on Dewey Square for a rally for Bernie Sanders. And while 400 people is an impressive number for any turnout this early in the campaign, it is particularly impressive when you consider that Bernie himself was not there and his staff was not even involved in the organization. And so Julie and I uh, held a, um, a small discussion with some interested people in our studio. It was about a dozen people and that initiated this and this is mushroom beyond all our expectations. And while Bernie and his chances of getting elected were a significant topic of conversation, most people focused on their own values instead. Bernie, Bernie. Like uh, uh, gay marriage and uh, gender equality and equal pay for equal work, things like that. He believes in having an economic system where everyone has a fair shake. He believes in a foreign policy that is geared more towards peace than towards um, Bernie Sanders represents pretty much everything that I could possibly, that I think my generation stands for. It means that the political situation in the U.S. is not broken. Nope, it's been shattered into a million pieces by the billionaire class, by the bankers, and by all these bailouts and the politicians that sit in their back pockets. College is too expensive. People can't afford college. I can't afford college. How am I supposed to go ahead and succeed and get a job when I can't afford it? Because our government doesn't think that we should be able to, su to succeed. In a fashion very similar to Occupy, the people then divided themselves into groups to talk about those issues which they themselves cared the most about. All right, Gabriel, we have a group on reversing climate change with Tom, creating worker co-ops, growing trade unions, raising the minimum wage with Ryan. Meanwhile, corporate tax rate on average in this country is only 12%. On paper, it's 35, but between all the breaks and abandoning everything, and of course the huge problem of tax evasion, overseas, overseas squirreling away assets. As night fell and the meeting ran late, a large number of people stayed to hear all of the report backs. And from the report backs, it was clear that nobody was on a script, and this was grassroots politics at its best. That's the Massachusetts AFL-CIO's Twitter account. Say, throw your support turns towards hashtag Bernie Sanders. The workers of Massachusetts want him over Hillary. Thanks. And, no matter which candidate gets a nomination, it seems clear that they're going to have to answer some serious questions about the issues that affect Americans the most. Corporate personhood, education debt, financial malfeasance among our greatest corporations, tax evasion, and climate change.